Good morning, good morning, good morning. Once again, it's Glendon Cameron here with The Corporate Citizen. And today I want to have a conversation with you why comfort is the enemy of success and why losers hate hustle culture. When we woke up this morning, I was watching a number of videos where hustle culture is toxic and video after video after video were made by millennials or younger people. There is something that is going on with a large segment of the young group of people who just simply don't want to work. They want the benefits of working hard without working hard. And I, I consistently see this because here's the thing. With this car rental business, I've worked seven days a week for the last three months. I've been working real hard. And this weekend, I took off. See, here's the thing. You have to work really, really, really hard to a point. Success is very much like an airplane. It's very much like when an airplane takes off, it burns 30% of its fuel just taking off because it's a lot of effort to get this heavy aluminum metal body with people in it off of the ground. And that's what you're looking at when you're trying to start a business or a side hustle, whatever. You're looking at that same thing. And I consistently see people who disavow hard work. I was going through the comments like, you know, I was working hard, I stopped working hard, now I'm much happier. Here's the thing. And once again, you could throw stuff at the computer screen. I don't really care to throw stuff at your phone. 83% of millionaires don't own crypto. Why is this? Because they're already rich. The vast majority of people who are in the crypto are not into it for the blockchain. They're not into it for the smart contracts. They're not into it for the future endeavors. I think three decades from now, yes, three decades from now, yes, we will adopt a digital currency, probably won't even be Bitcoin, and we will be using cryptocurrencies three decades from now. I really believe that. I don't think it's gonna happen next year. I don't think it's gonna happen in the next 10 years. I don't think it's gonna happen in the next 20 years. But look at who's getting into crypto. It is young people because they don't want to work. <laughs> I mean, I'm just sitting here, I'm like, overwhelmingly, I consistently see the same thing. Young people, I'm trying to secure the bag, I'm but I'm not trying to work that hard. That's the constant message. And I'm here to tell you that comfort and ease is the enemy of success. Every time I have put myself through the gauntlet, the gauntlet is this beginning phase of a business. I went through the gauntlet with YouTube. You know, back in the day, YouTube wasn't what it is today. I mean, I had to go, it took me like four or five hours to upload a video. So everything that I've worked really, really hard on has borne out financial fruit. A lot of money, YouTube, a lot of money. My storage auction business, a lot of money. And one of the things, we're going to my dating life, the uh, Craigslist marketing protocols, I turned into the Craigslist marketing system, I turned into the Craigslist protocols. I worked really hard on that for three months. And from, for three months of hard work, yielded 12 years of pussy. <laughs> and I cannot emphasize, I cannot put to you guys how important it is for you to work hard. Once again, you're not gonna have to work hard forever, but you need to work hard for a certain period of time to get whatever you're doing off of the ground. And there is no work-life balance that, that, that kills me. As an entrepreneur, just take work-life balance and throw it out the window, because it doesn't exist because you're building something that doesn't exist 
It's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of energy. It's going to take a lot of effort. So hopefully this message reached you this morning because there are so many people who are making these videos talking about not working hard and none of them have any money. None of them have any money. And if you would just sit down and simply calculate, okay, uh, I'm not working hard. I don't have any money. I'm poor. Once again, 83% of millionaires don't have cryptocurrency. The vast majority of Robinhood accounts have less than $5,000 in them. You, you consistently see signals and signs that from the group of people who don't want to work hard, millennials and young people, they don't have any money. This is a consistent trend. Yet the people who worked hard, the things that the young people, the millennials disavow, have money. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. All right, so guys, corporate papers. Let's talk about working hard. You enroll in the corporate papers, it's gonna be like going to college. It's gonna be hard. It's not gonna be simple. It's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be quick. But here's the thing. I'm gonna teach you how to build a holding company. I'm gonna teach you how to build an operating company. And if you stick with this, for two to five years, once again, two to five years, let's say you're 30 years old, you start this process at 30, and the time you're 35, you're a millionaire. The rest of your life will be amazing. You will have money to do whatever you wanna do, send your kids to private school, buy that million dollar house. You will not be out here like many people in the current economic marketplace who are struggling to buy their first house because they don't have enough money. You will be one of those people that's like, oh, you want 450? I'll give you 475. Not a problem. Because essentially, we're going through a grooming process. You have to become someone that you're not currently to become a corporate citizen. So go below, use promo code AUGUST to get 50% off, enroll in the corporate citizen, the corporate papers today, because I'm going to teach you how to build a business from scratch. If you're a rookie and you've never started a business, the corporate papers are for you. If you have a business already, the corporate papers are for you because I personally know that the majority of businesses are not set up correctly. When this EDIL money came out, this PP money came out, a lot of businesses missed it because they weren't set up correctly. So that's below. I will see you guys in the next one.